Every year, schools across the globe, with whatever budget they feel like giving, let music and drama departments put on their own shows. This has been represented and dramatised through the media, but stripping it right down, what really goes on in the lead up to these? Well, let's go into a school and find out. Hi, this is Louis. Oh hi, this is Gabe, and this is the behind the scenes of Shrek the Musical. And we are currently late for rehearsals. So let's delve into the action. Enough, Reggie. RGS is an all-boys school that works with girls from the local area and an external director each year for a production. In this episode, we'll meet the leading staff behind the production, a senior student leading the crew, and understand the audition process of the school. This is Alex! Say hi Alex. I'm Alex. Alex. And this is Alex. Alex is assistant to the director. I am assistant to the director. <laughs> Correct. Well done. People finally get on board yes. with this. This is Becky. Hi. Hi. What's up? <laughs> she's, she's L to the director. She's and and easy. technically choreographer as well. It's easy. Yeah. Director and choreographer extraordinaire. I, my first show here was My Fair Lady. I was choreographer, not director. And I worked with lovely Julie and Richard, who were directors, which was amazing. Um, and Tim Vemble was here as well. And then um, Julie and Richard um, decided to step down from directing. And so then I did West Side Story in 2019. Then I did In the Heights, which was COVID-esque. And I did School of Rock. Then I did The Producers. And then we did Shrek. So I've done Sit, Sit. Six. I saw it in the Heights because it was the it was September, wasn't it? Yes. Because you it was. It, so it, it, that was the first because it was COVID. Uh, that was my first year here. It was the first two weeks mm-hmm. I was here, um, so I saw that, and then I helped out with producers School of Rock and Shrek in the relatively same capacity. Over the years, RGS has had many heads of music. The most recent leaving after six years at the school, having worked on four productions along the way. As of 2023, the department was open for new direction. I am Natasha Jashari, I'm the director of music and I'm the musical director for Shrek. I've had a lot of experience with musical theatre being musical director, so I have directed for The Wiz, School of Rock, High School Musical. I've played in quite a few musicals as well. I've taught bits of musicals, I've helped people kind of coach them to get into musical theatre school. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to uh, the band. The band is massive and I can't wait to kind of start rehearsing that and, you know, put it all together with the songs. It's gonna sound epic. It's amazing to have so many people involved. It's just all their support. The students are fantastic, SLST. Wow, it's just a lot of people. So, Francis Mulally used to be the director of music here at RGS. He took a different post at another school and we very much miss him. But lovely Natasha Jashari came in, so she is now the director of music at RGS and therefore the musical director of our shows, which is incredible. There's a massive difference, as in like a, a big change to the production team, but she just brought something completely different, which is nice. RGS has had a history of student-led crew known as the SLST, or Stage Lighting and Sound Team, supported by staff, but led by students during the shows. I'm Will Baker, I go to the sixth form here and I am sound one slash production manager. For In the Heights I was a follow spot, School of Rock I was deputy stage manager, so that's calling all of the show and sort of organising like all the lighting cues and sound cues to go at once. And then the producers are sound one as well. The company where we hire all of our tech stuff from, I do work with them on the side. So I started off by doing Spring Awakening and then since then I've done quite a few shows. So I'm studying computer science, graphic design and psychology, and then I'm looking at going into sort of graphic design or sort of user experience design, that sort of thing. For their show in March 2024, RGS took a different direction from their recent show's efforts, opting for 2013's musical adaptation of Shrek. So essentially it was between Shrek and Adams, as far as I'm aware. And Adams is a really good show. We're not, we're not knocking Adams family, mm-hmm. by the way. But it's a really good show. But Shrek, we knew we had a much more raw cast coming through, a much younger and experienced cast. Um, and so Shrek gave us a lot more opportunity in terms of exposure for them, giving them a much greater breadth of characters mm-hmm. to cast as well. Um, but also the characters are generally younger than previous shows. So, you know, with producers, you've literally got 
It's written for middle-aged men. So, quite a few reasons. One, it's a big cast, and I think it's lovely to get as many people as possible involved. It's fun, so it's something that all years can kind of get their teeth into, and including some younger students for some of the larger roles, such as Pinocchio and the fairy tale creatures. And again, the band part being really, really big, I think gives lots of people a chance to shine. Many of the lead cast from the previous year's RGS had remained largely the same between three consecutive shows. However, with them now having moved on, the floor was open to a rise of new students. The audition process was a time for them to prove they could take the reins. So we have different year groups. Normally we do year seven. It depends on what show we're doing actually, but we split up the year groups depending on the show. So I, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's normally year seven, eight or year seven, eight and nine. And then we do 10 and 11 and then 12 and 13. So they're always put into year groups somehow. Um, and depending on what year group they're in, they have to do different things. If they're in the younger years, what normally happens is we teach them a little bit of a song. We give them a slip of paper with a tiny bit of acting in it. We hear them sing, we rehearse with them. So we're looking at how can they adapt? How can they take instruction? And it's similar with um, the dialogue. <laughs> new to the whole audition process or musicals if we could see that they were well prepared but not necessarily the finished product we knew that we could work with them we could help mold them um, and so being prepared was one of the most important things so basically they have to do a little bit of singing a little bit of acting and then they learn a dance and then they perform that in groups the older years normally bring their own songs oh. the structure of the rest of it is the same. They should consider the role that they're going for and to go for a song that shows off that they're going for something similar that you might find in the show. So it might be actually singing a song from the show so we can imagine them in that song. There's also a featured dancer audition um, for people that want to do more dancing. We did Freak Flag, What's Up Do Lock, and I'm a Believer. Um, I'm a Believer was the featured dancer one because it was fast and like Fun. Dun, dun, dun. You yeah. can, Becky can do lots of good dancing with it. Freak Flag was just the basic one. It had some complexity with the choreography. It was very upbeat, so I think it's if you're new to dancing, if you're new to singing, it's memorable, it's catchy, it's good fun, it's uplifting, and I think it encapsulates everything that Shrek is. What's up, Doodle Bomb? There's some character dancers. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's all about character, that one, rather than technique. <laughs> your tips for someone auditioning in the future? Well, being well prepared. So knowing your song, knowing your dialogue, and just on the day really going for it. That's it really, and then we do some recalls after that. So we, we bring back people um, on the, depending on the audition that they did, and we bring back them on different days, and we give them some material to recall for certain parts. Hi, I'm Ed, and I auditioned for Pinocchio. We had to sing part of the song called Freak Flag, and we had to speak and dialogue in the song. Pinocchio is a puppet who thinks he's a real boy. He's trying to lead the fairytale yeah, creatures into being, into taking down Farquaad. He's a little anxious and whenever he lies his nose grows and everyone laughs and it's very funny. Pinocchio is an animated, lively character who is, has a silly voice and he entertains the audience with his jokes. In the audition we had to speak some dialogue, uh, sing a few different snippets in some different songs and speak in a German accent. Hi, I'm Ruby Hogg. Hi, I'm 
Ruby Barnes. We auditioned for young slash teen Fiona. This character shows that she's been stuck in a tower for 958 days. She, she's um, a bored girl in who's been locked in a tower waiting for her prince. Yeah. Next time on This Is Our Story, behind the scenes of Shrek the Musical. The cast is announced and our lead performers begin to work. Many cast alumni from previous shows helping them along the way. We delve into what the show is truly about and start working through its story scene by scene to get us to the show night. For the cast and crew of Shrek the Musical at RGS 2024, an extended version of this episode exists along with a recording of the show on Vimeo, link in the description below.